Hello there again, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I am Lazy Bones, and uh, we leveled up in the last episode. We fought a ton of... Uh, I don't remember their names. Voidlings. There's something else in front of it. I know it's not vicious. It's viscous. There you go. Viscous voidlings. Yeah, viscous. We were swarmed by them, and we destroyed them, and it was fun and awesome. And we got a ton of H uh, XP. A lot of experience for fighting those guys. It's very, very nice. I like that. I like the experience. And let's, uh, I want to show you, run through what I uh, gave my party in the level up. First of all, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? I gave him more polymorph. I get a free uh, attribute point every time I uh, invest in that. Uh, which is very good. I like that. It's very nice. I gave him wits because, you know, he's old. He should be wise and stuff. And uh, some finesse and strength. You know, for that old man's strength. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the Red Prince. Red Prince gave him strength and constitution. Uh, Losha gave her wits and... Uh, or was it memory? No, intelligence and wits. And uh, Sybil. I gave her finesse or wits. Or constant, I don't remember. One of these three. <laughs> and then, I said earlier, I got him polymorph. I gave him... Uh, uh, I don't remember. Oh, wait. I don't remember. Oh, retribution, I think it was. Maybe. Possibly. Her? Uh, some more for skills. One of these two. And also, Cyril got... Uh, perseverance? Uh, oh no, I gave her a necromancer, right? Because I can teach her this now. Mosquito swarm skill book. She definitely seems like a necromancer to me. Come on, people. She, like, she eats flesh. She has to be a necromancer. And lastly... Uh, wait, did we put anything in this? I don't... I, no, we, we did... Oh, no, we did this. Talents. Guess what? I can talk to pets, animals now. I was going to say pets, but animals. I can talk to animals now. This is amazing. <gasps> By the way, uh, I did not know this is what you meant, person who commented in the comment section. I would give you a shout out, but I have no idea how to pronounce your name. You have like a, a letter and then a number and then another letter and then a number and then something else and then actual word, but I don't remember what it is. Sorry, but you know who you are. Thank you, though, for telling me this. I thought you meant the pet. But yes, I can talk to pet animals now. And I gave him a picture of health because he's my tank. And I need him to, uh, you know, have a lot of HP. And if you're reading that description, he has warfare. And that's great. Say, uh, 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 mnemonic? I give her a mnemonic for memory. Uh, why? Because it gives her more skill slots in here. Or to learn more magic spells. I think that's what it is. And, uh, Perry Master. Uh, let's her, you know. You can read that, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. And those Voidlings. Wow, this thing is. Uh, this will sell for a pretty, pretty penny. And they have a bunch of these too. Ooh, I can't wait to sell this stuff. And get more sweet, sweet gear. Yes. Okay, sorry. I'm going crazy. <laughs> now, where do we go? I definitely want to talk to an animal. But. We must stick, we must stick to the, wait, the quest. Here, there's like a poisonous, poison death cloud of destruction and doom. This way, oh, uh, you, I didn't, you can see that, right guys? What is happening here? Did you see, oh, there's like a circle, anyway. Nope, we're getting distracted again. We must, uh, okay, I'm lost. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Void Salamanders, level friggin' six. There's two of them here. There's another one over here somewhere, but he's not in view. I can probably talk to them, but I don't want to. They look so mean. But, uh, no. Uh oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, whoa, he's like his tongue at, at us. Look at this guy. He's pretty cool. Oh, and 
Excuse me. Uh, the last episode. Um, I don't remember the episode number. Was it 22? I think it's 22. This one's 23, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah. Oh, don't go there. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, right. I wanted to talk to this uh, squirrel. Talk. But uh, in the last episode, well, we did not upload an episode on Wednesday because ooh, because you have the pet pal talent. You can easily converse with animals. Thank you. Um, we didn't upload an episode on Wednesday because I don't know what happened. Um, the episode was over nine gigs. That's insane. And it took forever to upload uh, the video onto YouTube. And it was nighttime here. Uh, in California. Yep, that's where I am. In this in this state. I won't tell you where. Because you can't find me. No one can find me. Actually, you probably can if you're, you're super smart. But anyway, it, it it was like almost nighttime by the time uh, it finished uploading. And I was like, well, I mean, come on. I am <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to upload it tomorrow or yesterday. I, yeah, because this video will be tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm recording these, I guess, in a day in advance now. Which, I guess, helps if videos like that take forever to upload. Anyway, let's, uh, enough with the talking and stuff. Let's read the squirrel. How the heck do I sound like a squirrel? Hmm. How do I sound like a squirrel? <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> it was madness. <laughs> That's how a squirrel sounds. Big fireball lightning crash. Uh, squirrel, you sound amazing. Uh, implore him to calm down. What madness does he mean? Tell him you'll show him true madness if he doesn't get out to the point. Take your leave. Hmm. hmm. Uh, calm down. What madness do you mean? Ah, one moment, son. The next... I feel darkness inside. This uh, then noise, so much noise. Clank, moan, clink, groan. Continue. I hid in a stump. I'm not a stupid squirrel. I have much stowed away for hard times. Continue. But I saw them. I saw the shinies. Ooh, shinies, shinies. Ask him what he means. He must have uh, seen a battle. Ask him more about it. Soldier. Tell him what he describes. Sounds like your idea of a good time. Uh, definitely not what he would say. Shake your head and walk away. I wonder what they think. Like, is this guy seriously talking to his girl? He must, he must be really losing his mind. Okay, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. It must have been a battle. Ask him. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Loud fire and steel. Crash, bash, boom, splat. It was war. Then it was cold. No one left. Just salamanders. They like the meat. But I saw the shinies. Four of them. Round. Darkness left, and light again, warm, saw a glints and sand and dirt. Tell him you'll be careful around the salamanders. Ask him if he wants the shinies. Hmm. Do you uh, want the shinies? Don't eat shinies, but I like to look at them. They make happy. Ha. Ah, the voice changed there, by the way. <sighs> Can I keep it up? Let's see their their view. Ooh, ooh, uh, <laughs> dead vi viscous voidling. Oh, there's another one. Oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, there's four. Wait, is this thing dead? Noxious. It's not moving. Oh yeah, it's dead. Um. Huh. Map. That's where I gotta go. Yeah, there's no avoiding it. Uh, I'd have to go there. Mysterious cave. <gasps> there's the thing. There's the thing. 
goddess statue. Okay, we're going to the seeker hideout. We're gonna find Aloy. Er, you know what I'm talking about. If you know the game from which that name comes from. Yeah, let's see. Which I'm gonna live stream on Sunday. So stay tuned. Follow me on the, uh, or subscribe, I guess. They changed it on, on Twitch. I'm still under construction. Uh, not good. It's still under construction. And uh, Sunday. You can go there. And uh, follow me on Twitter. So you can know all the stuff and all the... Everything that's going on. I guess I gotta ring that bell. Somehow. I know I'm not gonna die going through this stuff. Oh. Did I do this last time? This... Uh, what do you call it? This... Oh, but this is cursed ground, so I don't think this will work. But let's test it out. See. Ah, oh, <laughs> it got rid of the fire for a second, but uh, did not stay long. Okay. Oh my gosh, this thing's gonna go. Oh, it's a pumpkin. Never mind. All right. All right, guys. We can do this. We can do this. Pray for me. Uh, uh. Oh no! Ah, ah. Oh crap! 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 No! 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 Well, looks like we lost our friend and companion. Let's do this. Bye, guys. <laughs> they won't make it. <laughs> no sooner have you rung the ornate bell. Then the face of a lizard woman surfaces from behind a rock up on the ledge before you. Her stare... Aw, oh, I lost the prince. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt eyeing you from atop her crossbow. Is this a lit... Oops. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. This looks like a lizard a lady. Bahara. Stand back and keep your hands off your weapon. Convince me you're no magister, but draw one last deep breath. I guess uh, we're loche now. Oh no, what have I done? I should have done it one at a time. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see. Say a kid called Han can vouch for you. Uh, he'd be on and he'd be on a orphanage ship by now if it weren't for your intervention laugh and tug at your collar does it look like you're a magister mystic pay no attention to her challenge but say there is a presence here a divinity is reaching out to you hmm we're conflicted because this is this loche is loche so every every option every time i get an option to use loche uh, dialogue or her specialty thing I want to use it because that's her character but the kid t did tell all of us to heal vouch for us so in light of that I think she would have to say this uh, I'm gonna do that no, no. there you go her eyes go wide and delight Upon your mentioning Han. May the goddess keep you for saving the little lion heart. Young Han told the story, the story of his rescue. Oh, you are most welcome indeed. Continue. Oh, with one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mass of vines for you to climb. Come. Ascend to the sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the great mother provides for all. Oh, you're so nice, lady. You're so nice. Uh, oh, <laughs> there's the vine. I was like, what? Crap. I keep wasting. What? Oh, there we go. Wrong button. Resurrection scrolls. How many do I have? have one two wow luckily we have some gold <sighs> dang it well it's guess uh, couldn't have expected any less wait where are their bodies 
I don't see their bodies. What did I just do? Anyway. Let's try to resurrect them. Oh, there they are. Who's this? Uh, right here. And then... Uh-oh. Okay, he has one. Yeah, too far. Dang it, I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, and this. Yeah. Okay. Now, we climb up. Welcome to the sanctuary. I mean, there's eyes in, in this game, I guess. I don't know. Don't look at me. <laughs> we made it. Side quest. Uh oh. Hmm. <laughs> Level sevens, huh? Well. Hello, ladies, sir. Lazy Bones has arrived. Everyone is green. Interesting. The last place we were at, everyone was yellow. So I guess these guys are super nice, which is good. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is there... Oh, no. Also, this is the same, I think, statue that we saw in the dungeon area. Well, let's approach it. Make sure we have that waypoint uh, unlocked. Discovered. Amid the placid little pond, the face of a goddess lies half submerged in the water. Continue. Rivulets stream from her deep set eyes like endless cascades of sunlit tears. You feel peaceful in her presence, soothed somehow by an entangled comfort. Savor the moment and take your time to overlook the statue pay the statue no further notice it is of no important import to you well old man lazy bones is respectful of the seven gods so he will save this moment as you gaze upon her loving face you find yourself drawn into a trance like state a voice seems to reach you from within your mind and from the furthest reaches of the stars its whispers caress you like a breeze. Oh, oh, yes. Listen intently. Expose yourself to this unearthly voice. Decide to see where this leads, despite your apprehension. Force yourself back into reality. You haven't the time for strange visitations. Ah. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna expose myself. Uh. <laughs> The voice grows stronger, like the breeze picking up. What where whispers become words? What were whispers become words? <gasps> oh my gosh, a goddess! I can't do goddess! Okay. Goddess statue. My children. My children. Gone are my children. Dead are they in the cra cradle I have. Oh no! Commiserate with her plight. Few fates are worse than hers. Observe that it's news to you. Even gods can be stillborn, if a goddess she is. A uh, sneer that it sounds like she was a terrible mother. It's uh, very rude, old man. Very rude, lazy bones. Hmm. Well, she's a goddess, I mean. I mean, do we really need to say this? But I feel like he would say this. He's too- Old man, nice is so nice. Nothing can be worse. A feeling of indescribable sadness assails you. It feels like your heart merges with the spirits, torn together by a coil of 
thorns. <gasps> my child, my child, weep with me for the mother who has lost. Weep with me and breathe in the tears of Amadia. Keep your own sorrows quiet, but let her, let, uh, let her grief overcome you and weep for her children. Refuse to be buried beneath her heartache and decide to wrestle yourself free from her rever reverie. I feel sad too. The tears mingle with those of the goddess down in the tranquil, crystalline pond. As suddenly as it came, the voice has gone, and you wake from its presence as from dream-filled slumber. As from dream-filled slumber. Okay. Continue. <sighs> the pond now shines with an inner light, and standing in its waters, you feel rejuvenated, pure, as if born anew. And... Nice. I guess I don't have to waste a spell, even though it... Oh, do we have to constantly move? Oh, I guess we have to constantly move. This is, uh... Oh. Yes! By all means! Tell us partake in the art of conversation! Hmm... No, thank you! Who do I talk to? I think it's this guy. Exter? Exter. Oh, I thought it was a lady, but it's a guy. Or maybe it's a lady with a beard. Hmm. Sweet armor. Sweet armor, bruh. Hmm. I guess that's who I have to talk to, because that's the little... Where the little pin is. Seeker hideout. Or maybe it's him. Do got... <gasps> Wait, no, I thought he was the, uh... Wait, is he? No, he's not the uh, the dwarf from the ship. I'm trying to find that guy. Where's that guy? Who do I talk to? Somebody tell me, please. Hmm. Should I stop recording and then figure out who to talk to off camera and then start recording again from there? I mean, the video is going to look like crap once I upload it to uh, uh, YouTube all edited and stuff because for some reason when you edit on YouTube the quality goes down so much but if I don't edit it it's gonna look all nice like this all nice let's talk to this guy screw it hey, hey guy <gasps> narrator I guess this is gonna be a reading episode a young man paces around a table covered with a spread of maps his face a tight scowl of frustration he mutters to himself seemingly unaware of you Exter. Guy in armor. He looks like he's a noble. Or he's a soldier type of dude. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm terrible at deep voices, man. I'm gonna try it. If it sounds terrible, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm not good at it. Every route blocked. We'll never make it past them alive. See? It's, it's not good. Clear your throat in order to get his attention. Ask who he is and what he's doing, soldier. Remark that he ought to stop pouring over maps and dispatch scouts immediately. Take your leave. I am a noble knight who commands soldiers. Son of scouts! <laughs> the young man scowls and pulls the map away from your view. <gasps> just, just because you made it out of Fort Joy doesn't make you a master tactician, sorcerer. You'd probably have uh, been safer back there than out in this place. See, I, I don't know if I can keep that up. I already, uh, I'm already hear my voice over that place. But then again, it's, uh, anyway, say that you're intent on getting off this island no matter what. Does he know any way to escape? Ask what happens to him and his people happened. Wonder how he knew you were a sorcerer. Oh, really? Really? No, oh, it! I wanted to zoom in, but I can't. I can't. Look at You have stuff around your neck. Come on. Hmm. 
Let's go ahead and take a look. See, uh, hmm. If he, if he knew, they'd probably be gone. So let's ask, uh, uh what happened to your people? <coughs> uh, should I change the voice for this guy? Uh, 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 uh. Mm. We were here on a mission to to rescue an important sorcerer named Vardas, but it all went wrong. Ask what happened next. Ask what was so special about Vardas. Isn't that the lizard lady that was killed by a uh, 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 who was it? Alexander? Oh no, Dallas. Dallas. Ask what happened next. What happened next? The Magisters discovered our ship. They... They attacked us from behind both land and sea. Many Seekers died. The rest of us fled here. Ask what a Seeker is. <gasps> Say you don't care what a Seeker is. Just... Uh, you just want to get off this damn island. Hmm. What's a seeker? Hmm, let me change the voice a little bit. Uh, we're, uh, no, we're a bothered hood. Uh, it, I can't read. We're a brotherhood. To preserve the teachings of Lucian, the world needs source. We, we strive to safeguard it from those who would see it stripped away. Ask what their plan is now. Say that he has your sympathies for his losses. But unless he knows a way to escape, you have nothing more to say. Um... What's your plan now? He... He stutters. G getting out of here. But the Magisters, they have... Shriekers. I thought those things were, were just, just tales of scared, to scare children. Dang it, I can't read today. But I saw them for myself, a, eh? and uh, and saw them what they did. Gosh, oh, oops, oops, I just messed it up. I messed it up. They let out a noise, and then a wave of destruction. I saw seekers clawing out their eyes in agony, screaming until their innards bu bubbled out of their mouths. Continue? We fled. We saw to, or we all would have failed. So we had to, we had to, oh, dang it. Those things are still out there, blocking only way, the only way to escape. Hmm, this voice is throwing me off. Continue! There's source weapons hidden in those swamps that might help us defeat them, though. Our leader, Gareth, went to find them. That's the last we saw of him. Wonder if uh, Gareth fellow was, uh, has failed his mission. Speculate that there must be other ways to sneak around. Ask about these shriekers that the Magisters are using. Just what are they? Insist uh, that the, there must be more to plan. What happened after the Magisters are defeated? How will they escape? I uh, speculate that there must be other ways to stick around. Uh, let's, uh, uh, is there possibly another way around? Uh, sorry, had a burp. All right. No. I saw what the Shriekers can do. They'll see you. And then you'll hear that noise they make. By then, it's probably already too late. We need those weapons. It's the only way. Ask what happens if Gareth doesn't find these weapons or, does it ret or doesn't return at all. Uh, note they're gambling a lot on these source weapons. How does he know they'll work? Wonder how they're to escape the island even if the Magisters are defeated. Say that these figures are... Uh, 
sound unnerving and what does he know about them? Hmm. I guess... How do you know if they work? I don't. Gratiana, the masked priestess, she told Gareth about the weapons after he convinced her we needed them. Uh-oh, I think we killed her. <laughs> it, say uh, that he sounds skeptical and if he trusts her, declare you want to hear what she has to say. Hmm... I want to hear what she has to say. She's over there, at worship. We'll need her prayers, though. If uh, we don't get our hands on those source weapons, then this island will become our grave. That stuff was, was messing me up. The okay, declare that you'll help them as long as you can help they can help you escape this place in return. Point out that they uh, point out that he and the others should be looking for these weapons along with Gareth. Uh, ask what he knows about the Shriekers. Wonder how they're to escape the island even if the Magisters are defeated. Say you're right enough. Hey, you need to recover after you escape. You time to recover after you escape. Uh, point out. Uh, you should be looking for it together. Who? Dugan? Samadel? Me? Look around. We've been torn to shreds already. We can't afford to lose any more out in those swamps. Gareth knows this. We'd just be a liability to him out there. Declare that you'll help him as long as he helps his kid. We'll help you. Thank you. You don't know what this means to us. Bring Gareth back if you can. But if the worst has happened, well... We'll still need those source weapons that has that he sought. Nod and tell him that you'll see what you can do. Say that you'll need a lot more information before you go out risking your life out there. I'll see what I can do. Good luck. We'll speak again soon, I hope. And, and that's the end of the episode. This was a uh, not really much of an action-packed episode. And if that's what you're here for, I apologize. But hey, this is an RPG, and you get to read. There will be lots of reading. If you didn't know that, now you know. Stories must be... Ooh, this guy's hurt. Stories must be told. This is a, a story, a storied game. But uh, I'm gonna talk to everybody off camera though. So on the next episode, there might be a little bit more, uh, some more explosions and stuff. But uh, that's it. That's the end of the episode. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Uh, have many good ones. Bye-bye.